Hi there, I'm Roman and I welcome you to the very first Free World Airway screencast. These screencasts are supposed to show you around your simulator, uh, tell you how to operate aircraft and all of that. So today I'm going to show you how to get the Airbus A340-600 from a cold and dark state to an up and running state ready for takeoff. Okay, uh, first of all, this is Peter's aircraft. Uh, Peter Haga is actually building and selling these planes. They're not very expensive, so have a look at petersaircraft.com if you don't have it yet. It might be a nice long-haul aircraft for you. Okay, let's jump into the cockpit. The cockpit is divided in three sections. Section uh, on the bottom here contains some engine control and additional stuff like FMC, etc. Main view, clear, and then the overhead panel, which looks far more difficult than it actually is, since most buttons here do not really function anyway. Thanks to X-Plane's limitations, of course. Okay, before we start, we have to get rid of this laptop here. This laptop is there to, uh, well, get rid of it, and therefore some background initializing is going to happen. So we click on the trackpad of the laptop and it's gone. So we don't ever want to see that again during the whole flight because it's really just there to initialize something. Okay, first of all we need some electricity. So we head up to the overhead panel and uh, here's the electricity section and on top of it there are three battery buttons. Battery 1, 2 and the APU battery. We want to turn them all on. 1, 2, 3. Now, if we go down to the main cockpit view, we see all the well, avionics are on and the Christmas tree is lit. That's pretty good, but we're on battery. We need more power for, well, permanent uh, operations. So let's go back up to the overhead panel and turn on the APU. The APU is not located here in the electricity panel, but down here all the way down at the bottom of the overhead panel straight in the middle there are two buttons and they are there for the APU. The way you turn it on is to position your cursor in the position where you see this plus symbol here. You click on it once and a second time. The second time you hold it down for like three seconds. That should do it. And you see two blue lights here. The bottom one will turn green once the APU is up and running. There it goes. Now it's green, that means we can actually use the generator in order to produce electricity and use the bleed air which we need to start the engines. So we turn on the generator for the APU up here in the electricity panel again. Uh, that's located here, it's called APU Gen and it's off right now. A white light always means off. And uh, well, now it's on. We have electricity through the APU and the batteries are, uh, are charging again. Okay, now let's turn on some lights, the nav light and the beacon light. The seat belts are over here. And now let's have a look. Okay, you see the lights for navigation are lit and the beacon is, well, beaconing. All right. From here, we are ready to start the engines, believe it or not, but that's the actual difficulty. First of all, we need to get the bleed air from the APU to the engines in order to make them start, of course. Okay, to do that, we go here into the air panel. It looks extremely complicated, but is actually really easy. The only button really working is that one, the big knob here on the bottom. So you can click on that one four times to get it to the APU position. So we do that. One, two, three, four. You see that you're there when this blue light here turns uh, on. That means APU bleed on. And uh, that makes sure that the APU air is going to the engines on the left and on the right. Once we're there, we can go down to the engine control, down here, and start them up. We do that in a fairly complicated and unusual procedure. You might not 
be used to this because um, most X-Plane airliners work a bit different than that. So I'll explain it before we actually go for it. Step number one is to turn on the engine start initially. That will turn on, uh, will lead the air bleed to the engines uh, on the left, exact to be exactly on the onto the engine number one. We hold that button down for like a few seconds until the EGT, which is up here, which is indicated up here, second row, reaches around 900. Uh, well, degree. So once that's there, we let go of that button and jump over to the engine one cutoff valve. We turn it on and hold it down. That will cause the air bleed to jump over from engine number one to engine number two, while engine number one gets fuel and is from now on self sufficient and up and running. So I know this is a bit complicated. Again, we turn that one on, start engine one. Current fuel into engine one, the air bleed moves on to engine number two. We hold that button here until the second engine reaches about uh, 900 degree EGT and uh, then move on to three and then to four. So let's do it. Maybe then it's a bit clearer. I turn that one on and hold it. Now I switch over to engine number one. Actually that EGT thing was wrong. I hold the engine number one until it reaches like 950 and then do the same thing to engine number two engine number two is going up 800, 900, 950 release number three 700, 800, 900, 950 release and the same for number four I hold engine number four even so it wouldn't be necessary just to be sure. And we're reaching 950. All right, so what I did wrong in my first explanation is that you actually see the HET, but no fuel, no HET. But anyway, once you have engine one up and running, like hold this initial starter for like five, six, seven seconds, then hit the first valve, wait until you reach about 950 then move on to the second engine 950 again and, and, and so on and so on. But fact is we have up and running engines now so if we look at them from the outside it's a bit hard to see but they're actually in their spinning mode here that's a bit not animated but it works. Mostly not animated because I didn't install the plugin for that presentation. Okay <clears throat> Next thing is that we don't want to keep the APU up and running forever. So let's turn the air bleed onto the engines. You do that again with that knob. Just position it in this minus cursor position and hit it two times. One, two. So all the lights are off here. That means everything is up and running. And uh, that also means you can turn off the air. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on. Yeah, okay, you can turn off the APU now because the generators are all on because there are no lights. No white lights mean they're on. So let's turn off the APU and that's it. From now on, you're ready to go. You can use this craft like, well, any other uh, aircraft in X-Plane, uh, which you might know, and that's it. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment here or, well, if you're a free world member, then just drop me an email. All right, bye.